Welcome to Railway Legends, Myths, and Stories. I'm Kevin Stanley. This is the first in a series of videos about railways and trains. Why do so many people have such a great fascination with trains? Perhaps as from their beginnings until well into the middle of the 20th century, and many would say even to this day, the railroads have been on the cutting edge of technology. Even when looking back, one can see the wonders that trains brought. We hope that we can bring some of that wonder to you. We will look into many of the often told, but often mistold stories about the railways. Many of these myths and old stories have been retold so many times that, well, we'll do our best to set the record straight. As to the name of our project, while we want to bring you as many of the legends and myths and other stories as we can, you can consider the name to be a sort of catch-all term for all of the things we want to talk about. I like to think of myself as a railway enthusiast. This is my hobby and something I enjoy, but it is also something I take seriously and I make a great study of it. My wife, Lisa, whose drive got this video project started, also has had a long-time interest in trains and railways. In fact, she was a volunteer at a railway museum for some years. There will be at least one story from her days as a museum volunteer. In the future, if she will let me, and I can get her out from behind the camera, she might tell of some of her experiences with trains. Now in my day job, I am a computer programmer working in the transportation industry, but I do not work for the railroads. My other hobby besides trains is organizing science fiction conventions. I co-chaired the 2002 World Science Fiction Convention in San Jose, California, but I've always had an interest in trains. As we travel around attending science fiction conventions, we try whenever we can to work train travel into our plans. For example, in 2012, we traveled from home in northern Nevada to the Worldcon in Chicago by train, joining a number of our friends traveling on Amtrak's California Zephyr. While most of our friends flew back, we took the long way home, traveling on the only three-night trip on a single Amtrak train, the Texas Eagle and Sunset Limited from Chicago to Los Angeles via San Antonio. Sure, it wasn't fast, but in our case, getting there was most of the fun. I have been asked many times how it is I know so much about trains. Well, I like to read about trains. Well, I really like to read about trains. Now, besides reading about the railways, our family loves to travel on trains and go to places both near and far where there are trains. We have ridden the rails in Europe, North America, Asia, to the top of the Pikes Peak Cog Railway in Colorado, and to the deepest public mainline railway station in the world, Tapakaite, Japan. And oh yes, our little bear, Kuma, also likes to ride trains. While we like to ride the rails, we will for the most part not be doing train travel videos. Our focus will be on a wide range of rail topics. If you like travel videos, and we sure do ourselves, we recommend such YouTube channels such as All the Stations by Jeff Marshall and Vicki Pipe, The Tim Traveler, Kuga's Travel, and Dylan's Travel Reports. In upcoming videos, we hope to look at such things as the beginnings of the railways, myths behind railway gauges, and the gauge wars, the people and the workers who built the railways, mistold stories of the land grants of the American Western Railways, robber barons, the people who financed the railways and sometimes bankrupted them high-speed trains, and many other topics are possible. If you have an idea about something you'd like to hear me talk about, 
drop it in the comments below. We hope you will enjoy these videos. And as always, we'll see you on the train.